Let me cut this off. Let me cut this off. Shalom. Shalom. It's such a beautiful Sabbath, brothers and sisters. You know, I'm coming up here today because it's a beautiful thing to know who you are in Christ. Let me repeat that again. I am coming up here today to say it is a beautiful thing to know who you are in Christ. You see, a lot of stuff is going on because a lot of people don't know who they are. You know what I mean? And when I say Christ, I'm talking about the truth because he is the truth, right? You know, most people want to say they can go straight to the Father. But they don't have his words, which is the truth, right? The Father speaks true things. And thus and therefore, his word is Christ. So, I mean, it's a good thing to know who you are. Because I tell you, knowing who you are depends on where you're going and what's going to happen. So, um, I'm looking at this Texas thing, what's going on out there in Texas. And um, I remember speaking to some brothers and some sisters and also posting this um, on Facebook. Before I got on YouTube, I did a, a lot of evangelistic work. Went to the nursing homes, went out in the Walmart Park, and I did a lot of different things. Um, was kind of raised up in the ministry, and as I got older and uh, faced my struggles, and uh, let's just say the Most High got a hold of me, and, I, and all praises, you know. And I, I had to then go do the work, right? I had to learn and go do the work. You know, and I remember telling people a lot of stuff happened out there in Texas. A lot of stuff happened in Texas. Uh, what about those kids they found out there? You know, Sandra Bland, too, you know. And um, not to mention some of our people that fell, you know, traveling through there. So, I mean, we gotta ask, we have to ask ourselves. Because I had to ask myself, and I'm just gonna put it out there. You know, when I was going through my struggles, you know, there was some curses, so to speak, of being disobedient, things I went through. You know, such as sleeping in the cold, apprehended, called a criminal, called a nigga, being shot at, fighting with others of my own. Going through these curses, you know, and rightfully so that I went through those curses because you know why? You know why? Because when you're a complete, let's just say, bunhole, and you know, ain't nothing about you good. The only thing you can do is say nasty things to people. Talking about folks. Only because it's based upon your insecurities. Because truly, you don't know who you are. And oftentimes, things, let's just say it like this. I can put it this way. Things that you don't know whether it's some type of foreign material or foreign object or um, it could be anything. They have to go through a test for it to be identified what it is. Right? And what's going on today is you have people who are afraid you have people who are going through the most but we look at these things right and we ask ourselves why me well I like to ask you today why are you do you know who you are 
Do you know who Christ is? You know, finding out and knowing who you are depends on what's going to happen with you. You know, you know, it's a, uh, it's one of those hard, big, bulky pills to swallow. It really is. You know, I had to go. But, you know, before we can even get into that, let's ask ourselves this. Did we create ourselves? Right. Did you get to pick who you wanted to be? Boy? Or girl? You know? Did you decide what parents you wanted or needed? So in essence of looking at these things, how dare the creature doesn't know the creature. In meaning, the dog barks, so therefore, it's a dog. The cow moves, so therefore, it's a cow. (laughs) <laughs> oink, 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 oink. It's a pig, right? 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 But the thing I'm saying is they are able to identify through the characteristics of the things that they uh, obtain or the, uh, the abilities that they naturally have. They are able to identify who they are. And those are animals. So. I think it's somewhere where it says in the story, right, of the rich and the poor man. This is another look on this story. How, I can imagine how the poor man sat at that gate every day waiting. Man, maybe I may know what, maybe if I do this, sit right here. You know, he'll see me and, and you know, he'll, he'll feed me. Nah. Uh, maybe if I, you know, maybe I, I dust my face off and pray and today, you know, he'll feed me. Nah. The saddest thing in that story, here's the saddest thing, but it's so true. The saddest thing in that story is not merely, even though, you know, I mean, if you're a bunhole, rightfully so, you know, it's like, man, you know, man, I, I, I wish and hope the best for you. But, man, you act like a jerk. You know, I, I, I mean, I don't have best wish, wishes for jerks. I'm, I'm sorry. We hope and wish that they don't run across those type of people that mistreat us. Right. Especially when we look at our children. But when we go into this story, the, 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 the most part within that text was that the dogs, man. My man still had the dogs. You know? You see, the dogs knew who they were. So they were able to identify who they were and their capabilities of what they were naturally to do. And they licked his sores. You see, those dogs, my friend. (laughs) You should have some dogs in your life. That's my dog. (laughs) Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, because when you're looking at this, you're like, yo, you know what I mean? You can go ask one of your brothers or your sisters, hey, you know, man, I'm down, man. You know, I I, I need some help, man. You know, I'm, I'm. Oh, oh, what, what, oh, oh, what's going on? I mean, what, what you doing over there? Well, you know, I said so and so, you know. 
money and I had to go pay this bill. Oh, 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 so see, you see, you, you, you find your job yet? Yeah, you know, I, I've been looking at, you know, putting the applications here, man, you know, all the, you know, the people call me up, man, promising me things. Oh, oh, man, you know, man, I, I, you know, I'll hit you right back, man. Let me hit you right back, man. Let me hit you right back. Right? Right? But your dog. Yo, what's up, man? Hey, man, what's going on, bro? Yo, man. <sighs> bro, you know what I'm saying? I need to get like 20 or $30, man. I, I, I need to get some food for the house, man. You know, I've been down. Oh, man, say no more, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's cold outside, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I know how you feel, man. You know, I've, I've been through that, man. Yo. Hold on, you what you got cash at? Nah, man, nah, man, don't hit me up on Zelly, man. I, no, hit me up on the Z. All right, man, I'm gonna hit you up on the Z. Give me a second. But your dogs will lick your sword. Right? The point of this is what I'm trying to tell you is not that you should just go and start making a bunch of friends with dogs. Because some of these dogs are wolves. But the point I'm trying to make you see within the text is that one must come to know who they are. Especially to come in, in, into your ability and to do it in the way that Christ would do it. Then that person would have to submit to Christ. And in doing that, oh, you got complete access to the most high, our power. But, you know, talking to the choir, man. But it was a blessing to speak with you and um, know who you are in Christ. And walk in your full ability. And don't be biased. You see that dog over there? Say what's up. You know? How you doing? Keep it moving. Because you never know. That bridge that you may that you may have burned may be that same bridge you have to cross over. And truly, the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. Blessings and peace. There is.